overnight Israel took out the number one man in Hamas, Ishmael Hanaya, uh, hours after they eliminated the second highest ranking official in the Hezbollah group in Lebanon. Now, Hanaya is the big boss of the 15-member Central Committee of Hamas. Not Sinwar, he's still alive, Dieff is dead, and they went and they got Hanaya, and they got him in Iran, where he went for the inauguration of the new Iranian president. So it's a deep embarrassment to Tehran, as well as the end of days for Ishmael Hanaya. Now, Israel has made it clear since 10-7, every single person in the, in the Hamas leadership will be dealt with eventually. They just did this in a very dramatic fashion. And of course, the hand ringers in the Biden-Harris administration are worried about escalation in the region. They do not seem to understand that Israel is at war and has not had the ability to occupy the northern tier of its country because of the Hezbollah fight, and they can't reoccupy the south because of the Hamas fight. Israel was attacked on both the southern border on 10-7, on the northern border on 10-8, and they are doing what they ought to do to bring these wars to a rapid conclusion. Hitting Beirut, the top Hezbollah commander, was also good news for America because this guy was involved in the 1983 bombing of the Marine Corps uh, barracks. And so, uh, lose no sleep for uh, Faoud Shakur, if I'm saying that correct. But the Hamas leader is Hanaya being assassinated in a missile strike in Iran. That is actually big deal news. And the Revolutionary Guards say Iran will respond. And, of course, Israel's tense, but they're not doing anything different. They've been at war for a long, long time. Uh, the New York Times, very funny, kicked Victoria Kim. What we need to know about the assassination of Ismail Hanaya. The killing comes at a tense moment. You think? You think? The location of his death in Iran's capital is significant. You think? The assassination could imperil ceasefire talks. You think? I, I just sometimes I find mainstream media laughable. Uh, there's not much else to know. Israel's making a list. They're checking it twice, and they're crossing people off of it.